most fortunate simply because we attended an institution that prepared us for the real world by cultivating our minds and molding our overall character. Many say that the Hamans belong to one of two groups. Those who attended the great St. John's College. Woo! Yes! Yes! Thank you! Yes! yes. Woo! Audience, please look carefully at these individuals before you hear today. What you are observing are 102 stories waiting to be told. My Lord. Today you read the chapters where they succeed, but you know not the numerous events that occurred leading up to this glorious moment. You are in the presence of the young men and women who are destined to improve the nation through medicine, science, technology, and even the arts. It is hard to say that this country will not go anywhere when you clearly see living proof of the people who possess the capabilities to improve our entire world. Bruce Rahner asserts that success is all about persistence and doing the right thing for the long term. Mm -hmm. My geography classmates can tell you that the cultivation of a fruit can require much effort. The Lutheran farmers work long periods of time to produce those succulent pineapples that we all so crave, hence that island being known for this product. As a result of their hard work and sacrifice, these farmers gain, gain much revenue. Here at St. John's College, we have hardworking teachers and students who produce our well-known products called success. <laughs> In fact, throughout my attendance at this school, we have had, we have, we have had many successes both academically and in sports, including national debate winners, track and field record breakers, yes. arts competition winners, volleyball and basketball tournament winners, and many other successes. The successes at this school seem to be limitless. Whenever one enters into a new institution, especially one that has much success to its name, the pressure of fitting in is the biggest challenge. For me, I clung, I clung close to familiar friends and faces, but that quickly changed as a result of the accommodating culture here at St. John's College. I can vividly remember in 10th grade when I was asked by my music teacher, Mr. Ferguson, to play a saxophone solo for Max. I stood nervously behind the scenes with my music stand covering my face and blew each note out carefully as my knees clicked together. I was then approached by my principal, Dr. Evans, who encouraged me to always stand to the front with confidence, and I applied that advice in all aspects of my high school life. <coughs> in fact, I went from hiding my talent shy guy Aaron to dancing, rapping, playing my saxophone along with a special band band there. Yes, yes. This band that I and a few others had started Amen. had went on to win the first ever music project. I became involved in various clubs and sports, which have also been proven to be rewarding. I was even named the head boy of St. John's College My God. for this academic year. My Lord. It was this institution that helped this once timid boy develop into a poised, self-confident, yes. and well-rounded young man. Yes, yes, Aaron. Yes. I know I speak for the graduating class when I say that this year has so far been the hardest and most stressful year of my careers. Finding balance had, been, had become more and more challenging for each of us. However, we have all benefited from the wealth of knowledge and culture provided by our teachers. And even though our workload increased, we do appreciate all they have done to assure that we gain these seats here today. Dynasty ATN? I encourage you all to remain positive and optimistic as you proceed on this journey through life. Continue to move mountains and break barriers just as this school has taught you to. It most definitely will not be easy. As a matter of fact, we may fail numerous times as we try to pursue our dreams, but I have learned that without failure, we will not acquire that drive needed to, to better ourselves in what we do. Yes. Do not be afraid to fail in life. 
Just pick yourself back up and try again until you get it right. Remain confident in all you do. The prospects for us are very high because we are leaving a school that produces people who not just aspire for greatness, but achieve it. As I conclude, remember to never measure success and failure against each other. We will all choose our own dynasty to build our unique dynasty. <laughs> During this process, there are three things I want you to never forget. One, God is the all-consuming power that governs us, and it is He we should seek as our first guiding events. Two, building a dynasty requires tenacity and commitment. We must hold on to the, to the belief that within us, there are limitless possibilities. As the well- In us, there are limitless possibilities. As the well-renowned television celebrity character, Winnie the Pooh aptly stated, you are stronger than you believe, braver than you seem, and smarter than you think. And finally, three, never forget those who paved the way and inspired your dynasty. The ones who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are the ones that do. Yes. Dynasty 18, let us stay focused, spread our wings, and reach for the stars. There is no stopping a giant. Thank you.